Good day students. Welcome to our tutorial topic for today. It is called Managing Online Classes and Avoiding Stress. Before I proceed to the learning outcomes, I want to specify an overview of this topic. You know, a lot of students right now, they are having, you know, emotional and psychological stress because of online classes. Particularly, if the uh, lecturers, teachers, faculty, professors are having the same schedule submission of the formative assessment, no? So, it is very stressful on the part of the students. And I understand that the stress because I have been a student before. So, uh, in today's uh, tutorial video, I am going to educate you. I will keep you aware of how you are going to manage these online classes in order for you to avoid stress. Right now, we cannot do anything but to accept the fact. That is number one, acceptance. We have to accept because of the pandemic, our educational methodology right now is online classes. That's a fact and has to be accepted. Now, therefore, everybody is new to this uh, kind of system, but uh, we can move forward and we can uh, improve our situation. All right, so for today, let us discuss our learning outcomes. Our learning outcomes at the end of the tutorial video, students will be able to be aware of how to implement time management in an online classes. And second, at the end of the tutorial video, students will be able to understand the value of prioritization. Okay, that's our learning outcomes. Okay, so let's discuss time management. I'll give an example here. For example, you have uh, five subjects. You have five subjects. At the same time, you have, let's say, for example, at the given time, your assessment submission, formative assessment, is the same or similar submission this is an exaggeration huh? but it can happen for example the deadline is this one okay so this is very stressful for students because what you need is to submit your formative assessment for these five subjects same on that date they are all similar and this is stressful now how are you going to make your time management right so this is an experience of mine you have to dedicate in a certain day a study period let's say uh, you are comfortable maybe at uh, let's say 5 a.m in the morning wherein your place of resident is silent, there are no siblings, uh, Wi-Fi connection is strong, maybe 5 a.m. And allocate maybe, let's say, uh, 6 a.m. or maybe allocate until 6.30, one and a half hour, or maybe 7 a.m. That is every day. Now, if the 5 a.m. is not applicable to you, maybe you can set your time from 9 p.m. in the evening or until 11 p.m. That way, you still have time to sleep. Every day, this is your study hour. You know, guys, this is time management. However, there is, you know, time is our most precious resource. However, there is a word here that has to be managed. Meaning to say, 
In management, you have to perform functions of management like, for example, planning. Okay? You have to plan in what particular day you have to allocate your study hours or study habits for that particular day. And you can do that every day and you have you become to adapt with the situation. Alright. So, you have to plan. Okay. You have to lead. Meaning to say, you have to devote your motivation. No? Personal motivation so that you are always encouraged to implement this study hour every day. So, you have to have a self-control, you have to lead yourself, you have to have self-discipline, self-control, that is leading. And then organizing, you, know, you have to organize maybe your workplace, meaning to say you have to organize what particular uh, topic that needs to be reviewed, needs to be, you know, uh, prioritized. This prioritization will be our next slide. But what we are discussing here is time management. Okay? So, you have to manage planning, leading, organizing, and control. What is control? Control is, uh, you know, you monitor your progress. You monitor. Maybe, maybe 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. is short enough to do your, you know, sacred time to study. Well, give another hour that is control and monitoring maybe 9 p.m. is not good enough maybe you have to start at 8 p.m. because you know you need more time to sleep maybe 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. so in other words this time management is applicable and will not be the same because of your condition and situation but what I am trying to tell you, guys, is you must have time management for your study when you are doing online. That is very, very important. Look at this one. This is a stressful situation wherein the deadlines of your assessment falls similar and common to the submission deadline. So that is very stressful. Now, if you have already set up your time management, now we will go to prioritization. You can see here, guys, that the y-axis is all about priority and the x-axis is what is the impact. What example of impact? Like, for example, if I will not submit this early, I might get a low grades because I submitted it late. So, that's an impact. Or, Another impact, if I will not do this, it will, it will fail me and it will not improve my grade in that particular subject. So, in other words, we are trying to, uh, we are trying to de decompose, meaning to say, we break down a big problem to smaller chunks. So, we have here prioritization and we have two variables. Priority and impact. Okay? Alright. Why axis talks about priority? So, you talk about here, high priority and low priority. Okay? Now, we talk about impact, low impact to high impact, low impact to high impact. Now, let's try to diagnose a particular subject. For example, there is an assessment, okay? And it is a high priority, okay? So, you are in this quadrant and this quadrant. What is the impact? Is the impact high? Or, meaning to say, both are high priority that needs to be done, but when is the submission? That is the impact. No? When is the submission of this? Maybe the submission of this, this one is uh, this one is three days and this one is four days. So meaning to say give high priority 
and high impact on this particular assessment that will fall on this quadrant. And then your second priority is this one because this is for day submission. Now, if it is a group reporting and the deadline is maybe a week, okay, maybe it is still a, a, a high priority but low impact. So, it will fall on this quadrant. So, if for example, it is two weeks submission or a month submission, it could be a high impact because that is a group reporting and low priority. So, place it here. So, meaning to say, if you are going to use this uh, prioritization matrix, you try to evaluate no? what particular assessment Okay. Are you, what particular assessment will fall on this quadrant, will fall on this quadrant, will fall on this quadrant, and will fall on this quadrant. Now, you have already implemented your time management. You have planning, you plan it, you have self-discipline, self-control, leading, organizing, you know, for a fact that you have this prioritization matrix, okay, and you are trying to uh, organize and, you know, evaluate and control. You're trying to create some areas of improvement. Therefore, uh, in your prioritization, you have now time management and prioritization mat matrix that you are doing. So, even though uh, your subject will have the same deadline, no, four subjects having the same deadline, but you have the art and science of implementing time management and prioritization metrics, therefore, you lessen your stress. Because you have now implementing time management and prioritization. So, my dear students, this is my recommendation. If you will follow this recommendation, you will make your life easier as a student and you will gain more competitive advantage because some of your classmates doesn't have the art and science of using time management and prioritization for online class session, whether synchronous or asynchronous. And you have a prioritization to challenge and complete your formative and summative assessment. So thank you very much students for uh, listening and watching my tutorial video, please always subscribe, like, and share the channel. So, I'll see you next time and I hope uh, this will be a great advantage to you if you implement this methodology. Always keep safe and thank you very much.